17 Americans took the court today on this cold, rainy opening day of the U.S. Open qualifying tournament. First up on court seven was Ryan Harrison, an 18-year-old rising star out of Bradenton, Florida. Harrison led 5-0 in the first set before play was suspended for nearly two hours. He still came out on top, winning in straight sets. I came out today, I was really excited, obviously being in New York, I mean, it's my favorite place to play in the world, so I'm here and I'm really excited to be here. You know, I knew this guy was a um, you know, clay court guy, he likes to play on, on the clay, and coming over here, he hadn't played a hard court tournament in a while, and so the kind of the initial plan was to, to take the ball early and get and get to him a little bit quick, because uh, obviously you have a little bit more time on clay to react, and so I wanted to take that time away from him, maybe make him a little bit uncomfortable. Whenever you come out of a whenever you come out of a rain like that, it's very very easy once you get back into the locker room, and you, you, know, you go up to the line, room and eat lunch and so it's very easy to get kind of checked out mentally and so that was just to kind of you know me and Greg Greg's playing right now we were just both in the locker room we were sitting there like yeah you know we got to make sure we come out ready to go and I was like well let's go hit something make sure we do while Harrison had a picture perfect day fellow American Alexa Glatch is going home after losing a hard-fought match on court 13 the 20 year old from Newport Beach California fell 7-6 4-6 6-3 Here's a look at some other scores from day one of the U.S. Open qualifying tournament. Day two of the U.S. Open qualifying tournament will feature the other U.S. Open national playoff champion, Blake Strode of St. Louis, Missouri. Thanks for watching. I'm Danielle Elliott with USOpen.org.